All right, ladies and gentlemen, so basically the first type of example um, is basically just asking us to rewrite the equation in slope-intercept form and identify the slope and the y-intercept. So this one is obviously already in slope-intercept form because slope-intercept form, as we wrote down over there, is in the form of y equals mx plus b. All right. Um, so basically all we're going to do is identify the slope. Now, when identifying the slope, for my purposes, especially for graphing, please make sure you write the slope as a fraction. So therefore, if you have a positive, if you just have like an integer, put it over 1. Because slope represents the ratio of change, the change in the y va values over the change in the x values between the two points. So we want to represent it as a ratio. And then for b, we could say that's going to be 5. But um, remember, the y-intercept is a coordinate point. So I like to always write it as a coordinate point, where, z where the x value is going to be 0, and the b value is going to be your value on the y-axis. Okay, so just make sure you guys can identify that kind of stuff.